How's it going YouTube? Red Impact Sports here and I'm here to talk to you about the undisputed middleweight title happening later this year between the champ Jamal Charlo, 37 fights, 35 wins, 19 by knockout, one loss, one draw. He's the American. He recently beat Brian Castano by knockout in their second bout. He's going to be taking on the Australian Tim Zhu, 21 fights, 21 wins, 15 by knockout, zero losses. I've been looking at some of the commentary on YouTube about this one. And what's interesting is how quick people are to write off Tim Zhu in this fight. Now, don't get me wrong. We all know that Charlo is a slick fighter. He's got the speed, the footwork, the IQ. He's the undisputed champ for a really good reason. He recently beat Castano in their second fight in a very convincing way by way of knockout. This is going to be Tim's toughest challenge yet. He's made his debut in America, and a lot of people have been making reference to that first round situation where Tim Zhu got dropped by Gaucher. i got to say, there's been too much emphasis on that. Yeah, Tim Zhu got hit with a good one from Gaucher. He got dropped, but Tim Zhu got up, shook it off, and went back to completely dominate the fight from there. So, if we're going to use getting dropped as a way of credentialing fighters, Let's not forget the time that Bellamy dropped Charlo. Charlo himself is no stranger to the canvas. He's also been put on his back. So you might be thinking, this is no situation that Charlo hasn't dealt with before. He's dealt with come forward fighters. But what people don't know is Tim Zhu, even though he comes forward and he has that aggressive style, he's still a slick boxer. The difference with Tim is he doesn't tap and he doesn't waste time. He brings the pain, he hits hard. But Tim's still a really sharp boxer. When he hits, he hits hard. He doesn't throw any small stuff. He doesn't tap lightly. He actually brings a lot of pain and hits very, very hard. He throws a lot of body punches. And his timing is extremely good. So look, people think this one's going to be a write-off. Probably people are looking forward to maybe, who knows, Charlo and Crawford or something like that down the track. But I'll tell you what, I think this one's going to be a game-changer and people are going to be surprised at the outcome. Tim Zhu is known as the, uh, the soul taker. Each fight as he breaks his opponents down, he says that he starts to see a change in people's faces when they realise there's much more to him than they first think. People have also said that Tim Zhu doesn't have the experience to take on Charlo. Well, going back a couple of years, they were saying the same thing when Tim took on Jeff Horn. And I know you all think that uh, Jeff Horn didn't, be, didn't beat uh, Manny Pacquiao. If you bring it back to a basic count and the fact that that fight was reviewed officially, I think Jeff Horn did beat Manny, Manny Pacquiao, but uh, that's probably a different discussion. Jeff Horn then went on to fight Terence Crawford. It took Terence eight rounds to finally get Jeff out of there. When Tim Zhu, a fairly inexperienced fighter, took on Jeff Horn, there wasn't a moment in that fight that Jeff Horn was comfortable. Tim Zhu absolutely annihilated Jeff Horn. So I think this is an interesting fight. It's interesting because Charlo goes in with a lot of confidence. He's the uh, undisputed pound for pounder. He deserves to be there. He's a fantastic fighter. It's going to be a great fight. The hardest one Tim has faced yet. I think Charlo also goes in with a very high level of confidence, thinking he's just fighting your average come forward fighter. Tim Zhu, tough as they come, excellent timing, big body puncher, very accurate has absolutely no fear and has a lot of heart, is hungry, and I think he's going to take this one home. If it goes to the end, the fight's looking like it's going to be on US soil. Uh, Australian fighters have been stitched up many times in the past where there hasn't been fair judging, and uh, if it does come down to the judges, it's most likely that Charlo will get the decision. So Tim Zhu is going to need a knockout in this one. Uh, I think he can do it. I think he can bring a lot of pain. He is the soul taker. I think he can take Charlo's soul. I don't think Charlo's fought anyone as tough, with as much heart, a come forward fighter with as much accuracy and as good a timing as Tim Zhu. Thanks for watching YouTube. Thanks boxing fans. If you like my first uh, boxing breakdown, please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, if enough of you like this, then I'll be uh, bringing some more commentary for you. Cheers.